back in this motherfucker, man. Welcome to Pick and Sasha Chronicles, man. We got another lovely episode ready for you guys geared up with a little bit of season on top of this bitch. No unthawed meat around this bitch. We always getting that shit fresh and front to you. Oh, uh, I got my co-host in this motherfucker. Yo. Got Uncle Richard on this motherfucker. Always in this bit rapping, doing some other shit. What going, bro? Hey, you uncle. Yeah, come on, man, bro. You a, come on, right? ragged ass shit too, bro. Hey, tell that nigga, answer the phone. See what he want, bro. See what he want. See what, nigga, nigga, you gonna keep calling. Nigga, gonna keep calling. See, what, hey, you ever text a nigga? Hey, I'm doing something. They call you right back, bro. I said I'm doing something. Yeah, you had text that, but what you uh, you, bro? I just told you I'm doing something. God dang. I don't know. Nigga, man, I think it's automatically on speakerphone. Yo, yeah, <laughs> big call, bro. What else? Hey, bro, that? I, I ain't need, I ain't need you, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we ain't never need you from the jump either, bitch. Yo, you hear me? Yeah, he heard you, nigga. Soft ass, nigga. Hello. What going, my boy? Yeah, we ain't never need you from the jump either, bitch. You hear me? Yeah, you heard me. Damn, I'm going to show you on speaker phone. Bracket ass. Man, what you been up to all week, no jit? We're going. Shit, man, goddamn. All right, bro. Goddamn. Let me know. Dodging the coronavirus. That is, boy, listen, bro. Shit, work out. Man, shit, man, boy, you can't, you can't cough. You can't have it. Make it so bad like it's flu season, too. So if a bitch so any symptoms, if a bitch so any symptoms, you already looking at a bitch twice like, man, mm-hmm. bitch. Bitch, bitch, you might have that shit, shit, yeah. for real, for real. You might really got that shit. Bitch can't call for any bitch. For me, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Me personally, you better not even like, don't have like all the the, the signs, like the, the sign. Time. Yeah, don't Your be chest like, hurt, what? Bitch. And then I then I see like I'm <laughs> always sweating. Calm the fat bitch. What? Breathing slow, your shit loud. Oh man, listen, and, and motherfuckers, and motherfuckers running all through Walmart trying to get all this shit, bitch. I see some motherfuckers. It's some bitches looking weak in the knees in Walmart already. Saying that's Walmart is probably the, the, the breeding ground. Bro, that shit getting passed around to all the buggies. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you the dumbest shit. So I'm, I, I just that's why I was late. Walmart in line for goddamn sixty-seven fucking minutes. I knew I got caught doing food stamp fraud. <laughs> so I'm in Walmart and motherfuckers in there with gloves, mask on. So looking like CNAs in this bitch. Looking like straight <laughs> out the ER, I ain't no. And why everybody walk around looking like CNAs in I'm this bitch? I'm gonna tell you the dumb shit though. So they got the gloves on, like but they're reaching their purse like with the gloves on. The ER, Leave out the shit, take the like gloves off, and go back in their purse. Bitch, the virus is in your purse. The whole shit you been trying to dodge this whole time you been in the store. You taking that shit home with you. Hey, look, make it, make it, make it so bad, then they take the gloves off and don't wash their hands. They don't wash your hands, just throw them bitches on the ground. <laughs> you taking that shit home. Bitch, you, you, if that's the case, you gotta disinfect everything that you just brought out this motherfucker. Like, Listen. What you doing is pointless. This shit is really, bro. You know what I think this is, bro. I think it's the masses. I, I know, bro. This shit is serious, and I, and I definitely believe it's serious. I ain't gonna play with it. I, I know it's serious, bro. But I, this right here is really like the masses showing you that we still control y'all. Mm-hmm. Cause people doing all this. Like, what are you gonna do when this shit's over? With? Like, toilet paper companies are gonna plummet. Yeah. They're gonna crash. We got toilet, we got toilet paper. paper. We don't need them no more. Yeah, we don't need the people. Yeah, people ain't thinking about that type of shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Man, all right, bro. Keep going out here and do all this dumb ass shit, man. All right, bro. And it's always something. Why gas ain't spiked? Why is mm-hmm. gas going down? Gas spiked during the hurricanes. Yeah. Yep. It's always something. And I, bro, I never forget. But a long time ago, but I read this book called uh, "Behold the White Behold the White Pale Horse," and it speaks about shit like this, like propaganda in the news media controlling you. We can't leave it, bro. We having a conversation about it. It's on Facebook, IG everywhere. It's mm-hmm. on the news. It's on sports center. On you the can't, radio. You can't yeah. escape it. Everything. This is something that in the real life feel like we living in a movie. This mm-hmm. real life, cause the way people are acting, like, bro. This is some movie shit. Yeah. I, seen shit. A, I seen a picture of New York. Empty. Empty. You know, bro, I got to be careful with them pictures. Because my homeboy in the fantasy football group chat, he shared a um, grocery store shit empty. Mm-hmm. I'm like, somebody shared that same picture down here talking about it with Kate Bush. Oh, like, shit. Hold on, bro. This, hold on, bro. Something going on. But that's how I know, bro. It's also like propaganda shit, bro, and how they control the shit. Mm-hmm. Algorithm and shit, bro. Even when I was sitting up that podcast page, bro, just setting the shit up, bro, it's... It wouldn't even let me put like that. Why I had did Lily did Larry because it wouldn't let me put pictures as Chronicle as profile. Facebook wanna know your real name. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, how the fuck did um pretty little savage take care of me and my eight? Don't need a nigga Johnson got that her real. name like that. How the <laughs> fuck she got her name like that? <laughs> how the fuck yeah, she? Bro, <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out. Middle name. Man, I, I'm just trying to figure out how she got her shit like that. But I can't call her shit people Sergeant Chronicle. Like what the fuck? But starting to pay bro, and ask you like, who are you trying to read demographic shit? I'm like, oh. That's it's just all an algorithm, bro. Even like when we playing 2K and shit on the servers, Call of Duty, we only be on the East Coast server on the certain servers. Like, what if I want to not jump in my home button and shit? They got other shit going. I'm like, this ain't how I park. Be looking like, bro. What if they can really quarantine the world to say, nah, y'all only gonna get certain news that applies to Florida, mm-hmm. certain news that applies to Texas, California. Bro, this shit. Cause shit can be in shit can be in, in, in Kansas can be in pandemonium right now. 
And we'll never know. If they don't let us know about it, we'll never know. Just like with the um, viral mm-hmm. shit. This shit, they knew in October. Yeah. They knew about this they in knew October. They knew about it. The CDC knew about it. I watched, man, bro, turn this shit off. Go watch Joe Rogan podcast. Turn this shit off. Go watch Joe Rogan and Joe Button. You're going to get more information. But, bro, Joe Rogan had the dude from the CDC on there. And he was talking about the coronavirus. Being, he's like, no, yeah, it's been around, but this is COVID 19, mm-hmm. which is basically, so, okay, so y'all amped it up. Yeah. But basically, the one before was from people to people, it was from animal to person. Now, this right here is going from people to people. They haven't seen nothing like this, but they that knew about nasty it. motherfuckers over there in China. And, bro, I don't believe any and every fucking thing. I believe it, but I don't can. believe it, bro. I believe it for the simple fact that's what they want you to think. That shit right but there. But if, if the original one went from animal to people, it just mutated. Yeah. So now that's why it's the COVID nineteen shit. To people, it can go from people to people. And now that's what's making it this pandemic like this. But as much as I believe this is real, I also believe in population control. Oh, it's real. I know somebody who got. I know somebody who got corona. Right now, the general hospital. And as real right as, now. and my thing, as real as it is, bro, you have corona, you got corona, you have AIDS. I have, we have every disease there is known to man. It takes the outside uh, factor to, to activate it. And now you, now we got AIDS, and now we have HIVs. That's a disease because the outside we were exposed to it. We already have everything. That Dr. CB, that's in his teachings. We got everything in our body already. But once you get exposed to it on the outside. Now it activates what you are on the inside. Now mm. you start seeing the sicknesses. Now your cells are starting to deactivate. Uh, kids, we watched the movie as a kid, Chris Rock, uh, Osmosis Jones. Mm-hmm. That movie taught me a lot as a kid. Magic School Bus taught me a lot as a kid. Like That shit taught me a lot, bro. I think that's why kids are lost now, because you want to put your kids in front of the backyard again who are colors and shapes are cool, yeah. but Magic School Bus was actually Magic teaching some shit. Teach Magic about School Bus, whole, bro, whole, hey. I seen one the other day that was talking about immune system and shit. Like, Man, shit, listen. Science kids. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, bro, put your kid, yeah, I fuck with that shit, the science kid, just can jit be wicked. Jit right. wicked on her, jit <laughs> wicked on her. Jit be wicked on the playground with the purple dress. I'm like, look at little Pump. That shit, that hard, bitch. Bro, but the shit we get these kids now, bro, they don't learn shit, bro. And I tell people all the time, it starts at home. And then you, if your child go out and the teacher tells your child all this shit, and goes home and say, well, mom, my teacher said this. If you don't teach teacher, either correct them, mm-hmm. respect them when they right, or correct them when they wrong. It ain't gonna go nowhere from that. Cause they gonna go back to school saying what their teacher said was right. Meanwhile, yeah. it starts from home. Yeah. It's home training. If all they know is what their teacher taught them, then that's all they Y'all know. going through it right now. Y'all need to thank them teachers. Y'all going to understand, boy. Thank them teachers, the after school, daycare workers. Y'all got to be with y'all kids. It's niggas getting quarantined in the house and still ain't t- spending time with their kids. This shit is crazy. This shit is ridiculous, bro. Bro, listen, bro. It's, but niggas, it's niggas quarantined in the house and they're still not spending time with their kids. Like, you got to be in the house with your family. You ain't even spend. Bro, this shit is beyond crazy, bro. They hit us with that 14 days. That shit going to be real. When that shit hit, bro, and it's gonna be real, cause like um, the Perkins is closing. They left a mm-hmm. note on the door. I went to go get breakfast this morning, boy. Ain't no breakfast. My dog came back to the car. She said, "Fat boy, that shit is closed." <laughs> I was like, "Bro, we finna- no." She's like, "No, they're closed. They're closed. At- they're closing at four. I'm like, "What the fuck?" They just seeing how real that shit is, bro. When that shit start with the NBA, bro. But once again, this is them controlling the masses, bro. There's still there's not a big death rate like that. There's a great chance to survive. You think yeah. Kevin Durant is gonna like die? They. Thank you, bro, but it is serious. But then again, like I told you, I believe in population control. I think that shit real. Oh, it's real. All of it. Population control real and that coronavirus. And then that right there makes you think the same motherfuckers trying to give y'all these thousand dollars, the same motherfucker that got y'all sick. Oh, yeah. And y'all gonna let that man buy y'all vote. Thousand dollars is him buying your health. And I tell y'all now, bro, I fuck with Trump policies. I hate the shit he does. But his business shit and his policies, he's smart. Nigga will argue to my, what you nigga want a nigga go bankrupt? No, I want a motherfucker that go bankrupt a hundred times and get it back up. Mm-hmm. Bankrupt don't mean you broke. Man, yeah. still got Trump towers. Yeah. Lack of knowledge why we can't continue that conversation. That, that, that's just the misconception of the word, bankrupt. Master P still living nothing. Master P still live in a mansion with the 14 uh-huh. karat gold ceilings and toilets. He's still living in that mansion. Bankrupt. I mean, but he's bankrupt. He's technically bankrupt right now. That's why he should call the new No Limit Records. Because he can't technically call it No Limit. Because they went. But it, let a nigga tell you, bro. Talking about Trump went back. Bro, I don't fuck with the crack. I hate the shitty state. But his policies, and yeah, he was to come do business with you, you ain't turning his business around. And if you're smart, you always separate business from personal especially, shit. Especially not, a, not if you're a, a person in a low position. You know what I'm saying? If you got your own millions, you'd be like, nah, bro. I'm Even if you got your own millions, you know how you got your millions. You know, oh, this partnership won't hurt. Yeah. It's either going to help or hinder. It's going to help more than anything. Like a, a Jay-Z, you could be like, nah, I'm straight. Yeah, I don't want to do this shit. I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? But us? Regular folk. <laughs> Even then, bro, you never know who your money getting filtered through to, bro. You never know who owns what, owns what, owns what. And you got a loan from this company, but they technically owned by Pfizer, right? Look at Oreo. Oreo's owned by Pfizer. Nabisco's owned by Pfizer, who's also a big pharmacy company. Mm-hmm. 
that gives out a lot of insulin and shit like like yeah. bro. So who's you pimp, bro? That's why we, I told a nigga. We, we giving your ass diabetes and helping you. Bro, train. and a nigga told me, man, that Dr. CB shit. This and I said, no, he ended up killing himself. He died himself because they took him away from his natural foods and natural diet that he was eating, and he had no choice. He couldn't live off the water. That shit was bad. He's been making alkaline water. Man, listen. That man was preaching some of the realest shit. That man was, I ain't gonna say because he wanted to preach, but he was practicing some of the realest shit. Basically, you can, he's, there's a book I uh, read, Elijah Muhammad, uh, Message to the Black Man. The back of the book has got a bunch of different little um, shit to get at. And I got the book called uh, Eat to Live. And it just talk about eat to live. I'm like, damn, they really been fucking us up. Yeah. But sugar is an addiction. Salt mm -hmm. is an addiction. Like, bro, we don't naturally need these. These foods already have natural flavors. You can go get a pepper and crack it over food. You can get salt from the city. I'm like, whoa, shit, that's how niggas, the tribal niggas really ate. Meanwhile, they close the grocery stores. Them niggas in Mississippi, Alabama, Kentucky, they straight. Yeah, they straight. They got okra in the backyard. I got a, um, my, my roommate in college, they ain't even have Walmart. Over yeah. There. They grow their own food. They own got their food. own slaughterhouse. They got them, yeah. Everything is there. Like, and a lot of people, Walmart bro. Was like two hours away. That's why I like that shit with Charlamagne the God yeah. said. <laughs> country, shit. country, bro. I like that shit Charlamagne the God said, bro. The best thing to be right now is ghetto. Yeah. Like, the ghetto gonna survive, bro. Yeah. The people, all them rich people who ain't got money like that is stressing. Then the people who running. To the same, I seen a meme that said the same people that wouldn't have got the chicken sandwiches, the same people that wouldn't have grabbed all these wall and toilet paper. Yeah. It is. You can be controlled by the masses. Mm -hmm. You don't have your own free will of thinking. And let it be, yeah, you don't want to play and don't want to take, you want to take all precautions. But let this shit come out and then you realize how you really got played. I'm going to tell you like I told a bit earlier. Yeah. When, it, when it's time to survive, I ain't thinking about no motherfucking toilet paper. I'm telling you. Bitch, I, 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 I wipe my ass in the ditch, bitch, if I, I got to. I wipe my ass with a t-shirt. With a t-shirt, bitch, like Uncle Elroy, bitch. I wipe my ass with a t-shirt. I wipe my ass Sorry, son, I ain't toilet paper. I'm not finna go get no toilet paper, bitch. We need food and water. What the fuck I'm gonna do with you? We got a shower. Eat this shit when I'm hungry, bitch. You can't do that with that shit once you once you run out of motherfucking food. Motherfuckers buying the wrong survival And then I got told the bitch hell too. Bitch, I done been through this situation before. We done been through hurricane after hurricane after hurricane. I'm stuck in my house for 14 days with electricity. I'm strained. Bro, we done been without we done been without power for months. Hurting. That's high. It ain't nothing to do. What? Hi. Well, he's speaking for the heart. He's speaking like he there now. Bro. Not yet. It's gonna be so many corona. Yo, I did not want to be next to no kids. None. None. That kids wanna hug and shit. Be like, boy, you on back the fuck up? It's hot. Yes. Bro, it was so hot, bro. Listen. Bro, at the time, bro, I was staying in the Mockley, bro. I had my apartment still, bro. But me and my girl had a house out there in the Mockley, bro. And it was so hot, bro. We took the uh, things off the shields, off the window. Uh -huh. Let that wind go, yeah, man. Let first wind night. Wind. First night, bro. I'm big, bro. And, I, bro, I ain't never been a dude like skinny chicks, bro. I done dated skinny chicks here and there, bro. I ain't, bro. A bitch on the 140 is not breaking my heart. I will kill you, bro. And, and listen, somebody going to die. You ain't got to die. Your mama, your, somebody's finna die. Bitch, you break my heart. Somebody finna die. I ain't, it ain't got to be you. You can literally tell the story. But somebody going to die. But bitch, we out there, bro. It's hot. I'm big. I like voluptuous women. She big, too. Man, we on top of each other. Just think it's going to be cool because the breeze coming through. Them four minutes get to walk. My fuck, bro. It's hot. I'm big. Like, oh, man. man. It's hot. Irritated. It's everything. Man, then her sister them in the living room with, with her nigga because they stay in the area that the um, as soon as it started storming, they shit went to rock the water rise. Mm -hmm. We're like, oh, it's going to get worse. Long story long, that it's shit. Florida. Shit, man. All that shit out there in the mock, that little village shit, all that shit in the flood. Boy, listen, we had one. We had, we had one. We actually had one of the safest houses, bro. Right there, I used to stay on Gun Street, right there in front of the casino, bro. And everything built up around there is actually kind of like spread out a little bit. And worst thing we had is a uh, line went down. That's it. And bro, we sitting there watching the street. I'm like, man, that bitch hit that line. It's gonna go. I go in. I go in the house. Turn the game on. We just chilling for a minute. We hit the breeze. Beating on the wall. Beating on the wall. Next thing you know, doosh. <laughs> shit oh. with the flip. <laughs> we look across the street, that shit all oh, we straight. Yeah. Dude, douche. I was like, oh bitch. Oh bitch. Man, listen, bro, we in that bitch laying down, chilling. Bro, it got so motherfucking hot and hot. Man, listen, bro, the hurricane supply food we going in like two days. All them kids running around, bro. And I'm telling bitch while we at the store, get canned food shit. Get shit we put in canned food because you can cook canned foods on the grill. You, man, motherfucker getting all these noodles and shit. We can cook them on the grill too. Bitch, I hit get my inside. No, that shit you going to snack on and eat right there and be gone. I remember we had, because uh, I, I got like a little barbecue. Yeah. I 
Yeah, that's all you need in hard times. Everything, bro. Put that little flat, that hot, that hot plate on there. Bitch, we had a hot plate on our shit. All right, bitch. Yeah. That boy pants in hot pocket. <laughs> you had hot pocket? <laughs> you said put a hot pockets on that bitch. Bro, listen, I'll never forget I had a hot pocket one Fact. time. Bitch, I'm trying to sneak it too. Gotta do something I'm trying to sneak it. a hot pocket. Bitch, I go in the I haven't had hot pockets in a minute. Catch that bitch at one second for it stop. <laughs> Bitch, I'm out of here. I'll be dead, bitch. I'm trying to go upstairs. <laughs> boy, what the fuck, boy? Boy, I'm laying in the house like this. I'm laying in the house with, boy, my lips look like blunts around this bitch. My lips look like couch cushions around this bitch. I'm around this bitch. I'm trying to eat a hot pocket. Boy, listen, I'll never get. But I'm thinking like this. I'm thinking it what it is, too, boy. Listen, that bitch cheese sticking to the roof of my mouth. Got all of my chin. Like, oh, no. Boy, listen, boy, them hot pocket, boy, listen, boy. I never forget my homeboy. My homeboy, mama had like, like boy, that they got cheese all kind of crazy. She, she been vegan. She had a lean pocket. I'm, you know, she she's out the box in the freezer. So I'm thinking it's a hot pocket. Put it in the oven, do the thing. I'll be a motherfucker, boy. Uh, you use that bitch. Boy, I I vegetables that bitch. in that bitch. Bro, I'll be a motherfucker, bro. Nothing but it ain't, ain't making so bad. That bitch was, uh, <laughs> broccoli and cheese, a big ass broccoli and cheese, lean cuisine, lean cuisine, a lean pocket. Hey, what the fuck is a lean pocket? Man, bitch, you don't move around, bro. Bro, you ever go to somebody's house, bro, and you have like, see. Bro, I used to work for a delivery company, bro, like, and, like, working for these motherfuckers, bro, and, like, it's crazy because we're going to deliver, bro. We're going to people's house. Lady be trying to give us, like, Perrier water and shit. Man, you don't get this non flavored ass Sprite out my face, bitch. What a flavor at? Then they give the Perrier Lemon that ain't got the alcohol. So you're like, what the fuck is the Bitch, I want a little hit. What the acid that, bitch? Bro, these old folks, I never seen, bro. Bitch gave me the smallest Pepsi I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them bitches look like, oh. Um Red Bull and like Man, Red listen, Bull. she gave me that. She gave me that a little some wheat thins and some hummus. And man, hey, the man, shit. listen, bro, bro, I yeah. fucked that shit and it was nasty as hell, bro, bro. I don't know what that shit beans. is, bro. Bro, that's bread. I think that's what it is. Oh man, bro, listen, bro, I, fu- bro, I fucked that bitch, bro. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it was, bro. But on them crackers, on them crackers though, it went. But she got her shit, bro. She killing it though. She dipping us, she spraying cheese with, dipping the shit, spraying cheese with, putting the olive on and then eating. No, we making a couch for like we putting a couch uh, together, bro. So she's sitting there hanging, yeah, bro. Like she cool, but I hate, bro. I, that's one thing I didn't like, like, bro. Why I be delivering the furniture, bro? Stop watching me put your shit together, cause I'm gonna make sure it's on point. I'm gonna wipe it out if it's fucked up. I'm gonna come tell you, cause I ain't gotta keep complete delivery. I'm out of here. Hopefully it is fucked up. I like this couch. They're gonna put it in the warehouse for three months. I'm gonna take it home, bro. Bro, I've had a lady straight up tell me, bro, like she didn't want the couch cause it had a cut in the back. I said somebody come. I mean, I know you just paid your money for it. Totally understand, but I'm trying to let this lady know you gonna double work me for a couch. They gonna let sit in our warehouse, and I'm gonna take home that. They gonna tell you can reach the key. I'm gonna just sell this bitch for the low. That's what we stayed doing, man. <laughs> man, listen, all right, boy. Man, shout out my pop, man. All right, boy. My step daddy get out there, boy. All right, nigga, stitch that bitch up quick. Yeah, but you yeah. know, the only thing I did was, man, duck, take it from the inside, push that bitch against the wall. That went against the wall. If you come in my house talking about the back of your couch, real. You a hating ass nigga. Get out my couch. Bro, get out my house. Get out my house. Bro, and these be like real expensive shit, bro. They be ordering, bro. They don't. They, oh, he got a scratch on it. Man, I'm taking him back to the warehouse. Hey, Uncle Richard, bro, write this shit off. He used to do like disposal shit. Uncle Richard put, all right, bitch. Corey and Bit J. I mean, Corey, uh, Corey, uh, uh, Bit Frank. All right, take that shit. To, all right, take that shit to the side. Take that shit to the side, bitch. All right. <laughs> It be doing the good shit in the trash. I be like, what is this? Oh no! Whole, me- whole uh, whole chest, bro. But like being in them people's house though, bro. They'll bring like um, they just bring shit out like that. Like, that, bro, that's why um, I'm a people person, bro. And I can just. If it come in a seal, bro, I take it, bro. I could take shit like that. And the way she brought us the hummus, the hummus would had cracker packs and everything. You just. Yeah. Oh, I ain't gonna. No, nah, no, nah, hell no. Nah. So a lot of shit ain't gonna eat. No. Nah. Only time I ate some shit, bro, I walked into I walked into these Indian people, bro. Listen. I one day, I would deliver some furniture, bro. Tell me why I was eating this. We had no bottle of water, no water at all, bro. She go, I, we go ask the lady for some water. Hey, uh, can we get some water? She go, she go grab, grab two glasses of water and some ice. Yeah, I got water. Bro, oh, this shit, I bitch. Water like a mother. You drunk it? I, 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 thirsty, bitch, I, I, bitch, drunk that. Hey, I, bitch, drunk that. That bitch saved your life. Hey, I was like, all right. 
it's, it's good enough. It's good enough. <laughs> hey, and I was mad, bro. One time, let her pour us some water. She had purified like a right refrigerator. I'm gonna taste it. Like, yeah, it tastes better. Yeah, she, had, water. she had no bread. What, uh, what, 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 uh, what the gold bird did on? Uh, <laughs> bitch, you know what you finna get in, bitch. You yeah, finna be on that dope now. Yo. Even though, bro, you know, only time I ever took food or something from a custom, bro, going into the house, bro, mm. I went to this Indian lady house. We put in, like, a uh, bedroom set, dressing, nightstand, bed, and everything. I put the bed together. She was in nightgown, all that, like that. By the time she went to the She was in the nightgown? Room, yeah, she went to the, because we weren't supposed to be there that early. Her husband knew we was coming, didn't call her and tell oh, him she was coming. She was trying to get you to um, build up to me, huh? Man, I, I told my cousin. I told my cousin. I said, cuz, she come in here with the robe on. She trying to do She's something. Trying to do something. But she went in the other room and changed was clothes. Was she like in the with the dot on her head or was she just like No, she was one of them, bro, but beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, bro. Beautiful. She She's was ready. Be- bro, she was beautiful. You I'm talking ready. about eh. that was, that was yeah. different, that was I'd have been ready. Jeans. Yeah, I was ready. I was ready. <laughs> just, just because anything that ain't white, bro. Like her skin tone was beautiful. She looked Persian uh-huh. damn there. But that's how I knew she was uh whatever I forgot yeah, what she said, but just talking to her. But so she going in the other room, change clothes, come back and uh, let us know, uh, well, cause we were sitting in bed, so we know it goes over here. So I told him, cause all right, let me do the bed, you go out there, um, make sure we get the rest of shit out the truck. He like, hey, cut, I think she gonna cook for him. Like, my bitch, what you talking about? He like, she asked me, like, do I, don't, what I don't eat? I'm allergic or something. I'm like, nah, don't worry about it, bro. She ain't like, man, all right, bro, say what you want, fat boy. She get the steamy. Robbie, damn, we put in the bed again. I get the smell of shit. Oh, what's my name? Good spices. I'm talking about, bro, good listen. Good curry, huh? Listen, good bro, curry I'm on taking that. a trash shot, because I'm trying to peep in the kitchen. I'm taking a trash shot just because we get ready to roll up out of here. She's like, hey, you boys aren't ready to go yet, are you? I'm like, uh, man, we just finishing up, gonna dust everything off. We ready to go, gonna put your, uh, new, your old match on top of new whatever. She's like, oh, uh, perfect. Um, make you got some uh, grilled onions. I'm like, but I look, man, this bitch had, bro, mind you, it's 9 30, 10 in the morning. This motherfucker had all kind of grilled onions on top of our shit, chopped up bell peppers. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I don't know what the meat what was. What she cooked? Bro, I don't know what it was. She just ate back. Man, I could have <laughs> started, started the rolling, bro. Yeah, you I don't even know right now. Bro, bro, right bro, bro, listen, bro, that shit was so motherfucking fire. I know it was jerk, it was something jerk with onions and bell peppers, bro. Jerk back, bitch. Bro, and, I ain't, bro, and then my thing was, my thing is, look, then my dog told me, like, nah, I I ain't even fuck with that shit. I was just talking about, bro, she was asking, I ain't even she was gonna make that. Like, we just thought they gonna make some bitch and shit. She's, 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 she's Indian or some shit. She ain't from bro. And this motherfucker talking about, nah, bro, man, I don't know. Man, we got on the truck. That lady had gave us a, Oh, then what she did, too, she had like a little folded bread pocket. So whatever we didn't eat, oh, she said, I got, bread. Yeah, pita pocket. She like, whatever you don't eat, pita take a pocket. sandwich to go. I'm like, what do you mean? She had took the rest of the pan and put the rest of the peppers in the meat and all that shit. I think it was like strip, uh, steak strips or some shit. You don't know what the fuck it was. Man, look, that shit tastes like steak, boy. That shit was love. Was you hear me? That shit could have been. That shit could have been the limbs over Osama. I don't care. That shit was fire. Well, mine, bro, cause I'm thinking, bro, cause I used to do my first couple deliveries out of the way. Then we start to still get shit. Bro, I'm in the later high, bro. It's more smoke than the food in this. Couldn't well, that boy, you couldn't, you say, couldn't no. say no, bro. And mind you, like she bring everything. She brought her like had it all laid, laid out napkin, bottle of water and shit. She even gave us oranges and shit. Talking about yeah, you guys gotta eat. Bitch, that was her husband. She just cooked. Right, probably would. That's why she probably had another nigga tell. And he was a husband saying she was there, bro. Bro, but I don't want some people high, bro. Cause I, we was just talking uh, off camera and shit about some shit, man. Um, while we going, we got um new series we're gonna be starting up soon called uh, What's Good in Your Hood. Where we pulling up around Fort Myers and just seeing like. Different shit around Fort Myers and Southwest Florida, cause we were just talking off camera, bro, about how people always say, um, there's nothing Fort Myers ain't got shit. I'm finna leave Fort Myers, ain't shit here for me, da da da. For you. As an individual for you, yeah, there's nothing here for you. All right, bye, go. But you think you moving to Atlanta, you moving to Chicago, you moving to wherever motherfucking uh you, you finna move to New York where your family at. Wherever you finna move to, you're gonna be the same individual. Change starts inside you. Change doesn't start with your environment. Your environment is definitely it's definitely a perspective of where you at and what you should be doing, bro. Nigga scary, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nigga scary, boy. Nigga sitting back there with that thin ass motherfucking head, man. No, ain't no nigga back there, man. God damn, that fat ass do rag. But, <laughs> but, bro, people don't, people bad, don't go bad. to it. Bro, how many times have somebody told you, man, bro, I'm finna move? Or, mm-hmm. This spark, this idea spark, bro, conversation spark, I was dating this chick. She told me she finna move to Atlanta. Me and my kids need something. Lee County schools ain't got this. My babies need more opportunity. I'm like, so much opportunity for my Like, there's a lot. You basically can be in kickboxing. Your girls can be in gymnastics. Your girls can go to the Dunbar's got one of the best computer. Dunbar High School's got mm-hmm. some of the dope. What the f- niggas making six figures coming out of high school? Mm-hmm. Billy, man, shot, don't tell me there's nothing here in Lee County. You haven't been all around Lee County. Then let's not say Southwest Florida. Say, there's plenty in Naples. Say, she got to say there's nothing in Dunbar community. And then, but there's plenty in Dunbar community. You just don't use it and access it mm-hmm. correctly. You drive right by and go to the cracker mm-hmm. shit and don't invest in it. And, and, think, it, and think that's, I think that's a better opportunity for you because it's, 
outside of your community. Meanwhile, it's not, because then the people that when you go through something, they don't give a fuck yeah, about you. They don't give a fuck about you when you walk through the door. They, they, they looking for another check. Man, listen, Chris Rock said some real shit. His mom and dad just tell him, don't nobody give a fuck about you in that world. Half of us don't give a fuck about you in this house. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Straight up. Chris Rock said he kept that attitude to this day. And, that, and he's right. He said he tell his daughters that shit. Don't nobody care about you out there. I barely care about you. And he, he's like, he's right. like don't, mind, don't nobody ever give a fuck. So he's telling somebody, I want for to move around. Uh, I need to go to Atlanta. Be, give me a fresh start. Nobody cares. You just see what people are doing on IG, uh -huh. instant gratification. Yep. You want to go do that same shit. Because all they see is the glamour of it. They don't see that this motherfucker that they looking at. That she out here fucking a scammer. He yeah. got her scamming in the trap. They sleeping on the dirty mattress every night. And he inspiring to be a rapper and got her in every video. And this whole credit ran up bad. As soon as he fall or fumble, everything crumbles. They ain't thinking about that. They just think that she she lit because she got the Birkin bag and not knowing she had the scam. She in the club every weekend with the bottle. And bro, bro, you know what I don't like when people be talking about, oh, that's goat. Like, that's lit. That's not, bro, I did so much of that. Like, it's not lit to me. I'm gonna say this. The club life, bro, I've been in a lot of cities into the club. And just seeing the VIP all night is boring as fuck. That shit. Hey, I feel like Hurricane Crip, bitch. I'm finna get on the floor. I'm finna get on the floor. If I'm coming to the club, I wanna mingle. I'm, I'm, I'm finna get I'm, I'm trying to, I bumped you twice I'm not, I'm not for a reason. Bro, I felt so weird. I was in the VIP with Hollow and Cena one time, but they bring them like spark. I felt so I felt like the corniest nigga in the world. Bro, cause only reason why I felt corny cause we used to Bro, I felt like the nigga I used to rob. I'm like, bro, who used to wait for you to leave the club? I don't wanna be that nigga, man. I ain't never know cause I know how they think. It's gonna get me. Man, get the fuck man here, no, bro. But there's nothing wrong with going to the club, enjoy yourself, do what you do. My thing is you do it every weekend. It's four four weekends in the month. I know everybody's seen the meme where they do the math mm -hmm. on Chill out for one month. Yeah. Chill out for Chill one out. week. And see, watch your money accumulate. Right now, y'all won't be stressing about doing all this dumb shit, worrying about is your boss going to pay you next week, you to put some money to the side, mm -hmm. knowing an uh, umbrella for a rainy day. Niggas ain't prepared to put an umbrella up because they worried about, I want to ball out right now. Yeah. All right, man, go ahead and ball out, and then what happens next Not week? when shit like this happen. Oh, I ain't got no money. Trump, give me a thousand dollars. The boy said the realest shit ever, man. Get your shit out the bank. Get your shit out. I definitely took Leave the minimum the so you don't get penalized. Like 200 in the savings and 100. Took, Leave that. I took all my shit out. Now, I learned my lesson by taking out. Because if you open I that same account. Oh, okay, okay. I got Will Fargo. They don't give a fuck about you. Will Fargo don't give a fuck. They probably get my IE in the way to a bitch right now. Nigga, they flipping my money. And, and meanwhile, this, bro, bro, and bro, I'm going to get back on my shit. What's good in the hood? But I just got, we just brought up some real shit, bro. Um, Because the reason why you take your money out of the bank, these crackers ain't going to do nothing. But flip your money while they tell you. You got to stay in the house and you can't come yeah. get your money. You're quarantined and you got to spend it over the counter with this. The weed man ain't taking that shit. Every weed man ain't taking cash out. Every little dope boy ain't taking this. You actually need money on that. Motherfucker going to tell you, oh, our credit yeah. card machine is down. And that's, you know, and, that, and that's the reason why I If you guys it. learned nothing from the hurricane that passed yep. a couple years ago, and, that, and that taught me well. That's the exact reason. I remember hurricane season hits. Every time I can't get nothing. Yep. I just got it. Because I don't really care. Cash. And then on top of that, if your rent is $1,800, $1,200, my rent ain't shit. My rent ain't motherfucking eight fifty. My rent ain't shit. Thank God. God, thank God, but no assistance. You hoes got all the assistance. You fuck niggas got a bitch with all the assistance. Bitch, I've been doing this shit forever by me, God damn it. Excuse me, Lord, but God, boy, these niggas is crabs in a fucking half, boy. You niggas is, you hear me? And no disrespect to my niggas on the other side, but these niggas are crabs, like, in the barrel. You get one inch above and they pulling you down, ask you to hold something. You a sacrifice, give your homeboy $50. Meanwhile, that was your last. He'll blow it. You was trying to invest it. Niggas is fucking off. Bro, but you niggas leave y'all money in this bank. These crackers gonna flip it overnight. Why y'all can't get to your money? Why you can't get to your money? And they gonna flip it overnight while you sleep or you're quarantined in your house with your rent being 1200 You gotta lay them hundred out there in Lehigh. You got a house in Lehigh, whatever. Your rent lay them hundred. You're not you can only take out X amount of dollars from the bank every day from the ATM. If the banks are open, so don't think I'm saying you can't technically get your money out the bank. You technically can't. You can only get X amount of yeah. dollars. And that's what um I, I was watching um uh, Wes earlier, and he was like, they wouldn't let him get the five thousand dollars out the bank. See, and that's and that's to go get out the bank. Mm -hmm. We're talking about your ATM. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, a limit. ATM, ATM, that's a yeah. limit. And uh, your boy say, um, Black Youngster said, like people thought he threw that money. He said, I put that money right back in the bag, mm -hmm. right back to the bank. I threw it in the uh, thing. He said, that's why I did. He said, that's why he got arrested because he did it on. He called them on the way there, like my plane going in. I want them. He's like, they got to get twenty five a notice, and they just thought he was gonna try some funny shit. When they see the black dude doing it, they, that's only why they fucked uh -huh. him. It wasn't no racial profile. It was just how shit went. That's why, I, bro, racism is true. It does exist. It really does. That's why you walk in the restaurant with a white woman. They might greet me and my black girlfriend before they meet greet the black dude and his white girlfriend. It does exist. And 
bitch really real. A nigga respect a nigga and a nigga before they respect a nigga with a white girl. Yeah. Yeah. All day long. All day. Say what you want. Nigga be like, oh, I'm not racist. Your daughter come home with Uncle Richard. You're going to be like, nah, man. Mm-hmm. I don't know. She come home with Uncle Richard, homeboy, who, who in the NFL like, right like, now. Those and, I, and, I, and, I, and I really believe <laughs> black people can be racist. For some colorism. reason, people say black people. Can't I'm learning be what color. It's called colorism. That's when people say, "Oh, y'all got good hair." Uh-huh. No, my dad is a nigga. My hair can only mat like this because I'm a nigga. I don't have that Puerto Rican Chico shit. My brother do. My sister don't got good. I don't have that shit. Me and my older sister, we got nigga hair. Mm-hmm. I got this is nick. This is a nigga fit. My bro, that colorism shit. Oh, y'all got good. Y'all light skin. Nobody fuck with you. No, it, that's real, bro. That's real, bro. And I tell people all the time. Drake spoke on that shit in that interview when he was like, the black community don't respect me because I ain't black enough. Mm-hmm. White folks don't accept me because I'm not white. And it's that colorism, bro. Nigga be like, oh man, I only like dark skin. And I'm gonna tell you straight up, I like anything black. Every shade of black. You could be Dominican black. I don't. I like every shade. Of black. I just prefer black as fuck. Kelly too. Rowland black. I prefer the dark. I just that, you hear me. I prefer the but if you read some beautiful red, beautiful yeah, light skin red is, women. But is. that right there, when we call people light skin, is colorism, black racism mm-hmm. already. Colorism. Oh, you light skin? Are you? But in, 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 in our defense, we the only people who can come up different shades. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have to have an uh, African gene in you to be. White people come shade. one color, white and one red. Color. Yeah, they come one color. Y'all come white and, and red. And Y'all want to say? Nigger. <laughs> they be holding that shit back, boy. That when, that when they turn purple hey, and blue. Boy, you ever seen them cock their pistols? <laughs> Nigger! <laughs> they be mad in the motherfucker. They be holding that Bro, shit back. That, that's all they come. You come red or white. We come in different colors. You mm-hmm. come different colors of black. Nigger. We come every color, bro. And a lot of black folks be like, oh, she only got that because she light skinned. Or he only like that, bro. I don't, bro, listen, Kelly Rowland to me was way, she still is more finer than Beyonce. She's more beautiful. I think Trisha. Was in Trisha Allen was more finer than Gina. Say what you want, Pam was finer yeah, than Gina. She's that baby, bro. I be watching her on that show with Cedric and Taylor called The Neighborhood. Nah, bro, mm-hmm. she is that baby still, bro. Nigga, y'all, I don't know when it became a thing for that light skin shit. Like light skin was the thing to where people are embarrassed to be black. You're embarrassed to be that black yeah. and tell me, well, nigga, you light skin. I used to be darker than this, bro. Three months in solitary confinement to get your motherfucking ass light, and you will never get that color back, bro. You, I've been, bro, my whole life I want to be tall, dark, and handsome. I'm short, light, and fat. I'm mad than these motherfuckers. My whole, my whole life, bro, I just want to be tall, dark, and handsome, bro. And I see my homeboy, bro. I tell hello all the time. I say hello. You are a beautiful nigga, bro. Look at your skin. Bro. You a nigga, bro. Be proud of how beautiful and black you are. I'm black, man. They, they like, bro, fuck them. And that, them light skin jokes and shit like that. That's racist. That's colorism. Uh-huh. That's picking on each other, bro. Jermaine, bitch, you blacker than a bitch. Bitch, you are the blackest bitch, man. You are, ain't, ain't a bitch blacker, bro. I can't wait to my dog Luffy jump, boy. Can I be telling about all them light skin jokes? I really think Leon did something to you, bro. I think Luffy did something to you, bro. Cause them light skin jokes, I think them aimed at, bro. Them ain't that Luffy. Them ain't aimed at just light skin niggas in general. But, you light skinned niggas do be on some shit, bro. I never forget, bro. Spectacular. That nigga holding. I never forget that Pretty Ricky video. I was like, I thought that's what light skinned niggas was watching that Pretty Ricky video, bro. I definitely thought that's what all light skinned niggas was like. Nigga bite your lip. Look at the corner of your eye, bro. For real, bro. Hey, Drake be killing the Instagram posts. He needs, he needs he needs to stop. As far as music goes, where we going with this? Who's that? That's the nigga from the Tyler Perry movies? No, Shamar Moore, CSI. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I think Shamar Moore is the most white nigga of all time. Yeah. Shamar Moore is the most white nigga of all time. Who's that? That's the nigga from the Tyler Perry movies. I'm talking about Shamar Moore, CSI. You don't know who the boss is, but white white nigga. I'm talking about, I mean, criminal mind. Shamar Moore. 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 Real mm-hmm. tall dude, uh, Black, bro, Simbad. Talking about, um, yeah. like we say, bro, Black folks be more racist against like what we do to ourselves. Mm-hmm. That's why, bro, I hate like yeah, this uh, nigga from the Tyler Perry movie too. Bro, 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 bro. Oh yeah, Shamar Moore, he probably yeah. yeah. That nigga with thick ass eyebrows, motherfucking female love that nigga though. But even then, bro, I'm so I'm very confident in myself. I tell you, bro, that's a handsome guy. Motherfucker, like, bro, you gay, bro. The gay niggas gonna tell you you can't sit next to RuPaul because you feel like this man gonna fuck you. Meanwhile, the man don't want nothing to do with you. He looking for a nigga that I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how they be peeping, but them gay niggas know when it's in you niggas. They be knowing and they know who to that's try. Why they, that's why they trying you. I've niggas. never been tried. I've never, I've never been tried by a gay person. 
Bro, listen, well, even when I was younger, bro, my home was like, bro, when I was younger, bro, man, da da da, man, part that child. I said, bro, because maybe because you was younger, maybe you walked to talk to certain way, now, now you older, bro. I'm pretty sure a gay dude will never try you because you, you give it all that you're not gay. But some niggas, they know who to try. Them niggas sit back and lurk on you niggas, bro. I, bro, I was in the county, bro, and me and this nigga was finna whole lot fucking get down because he got mad, but I know you, you, you a booty bandit if you get mad about this. And the nigga wasn't even in our pod type shit. He sliding, this nigga smushing honey buns, sliding them underneath the dough to the pump. Mm. Talking about the pump doing two for ones. Yeah, two for ones, two balls, one dick. Yeah, two for ones. You gay, bitch. You nasty, you gay, bitch. But this nigga talking about, nah, man, you don't understand how this shit work, man. I said, no, I do understand how it work, bro. You gay for the state, nigga. You yeah, finna get out and go tell your girl you was doing all shit. Meanwhile, nigga, you was in that bitch talking to T1000, bitch. Hey, bitch, all right. God, the one thing I'll say to boy, pump time and tell you that quick. Yeah, that nigga was in there. Asking, for, tell you a, shit. Asking, yeah, asking for stamps. Yeah, that nigga asking for stamps. Yeah, that nigga, yeah, that nigga was in there. Bro, cause there's some punks out here that they punks and they gonna tell you, yeah, I fuck that nigga. Damn. That nigga. Bro, bro, you, I ain't gonna say you be surprised nowadays. Bro, cause that's what you wouldn't be surprised, bro. You'll be, you'll just be like, I fucking knew it, bro. Do you be hearing some shit about the bitch? You be like, I ain't even surprised no more. Like, I knew it. I knew you had that in you, or I knew you was of that ilk or that 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 kind of quality. Like, bro, I knew that's the type of nigga you is, bro. That's why, bro. When I see motherfuckers be talking about, man, bro, I can't believe such. Oh, I can believe. It. I can I don't, believe I don't it like shit past no nigga. Bro, listen, I don't put nothing past nobody, bro. I bro, listen, I tell you now, bro. If you around your homeboy for 24 hours, you gonna see something about that nigga. You realize that you I don't like that. And that's why I'm be around this nigga that often. Bro, I bro, I, do, bro, I can't be around my homeboys more than four or five hours. Cause I realize why I don't be around you niggas all day. I realize why I separate and I elevate it. I realize that, bro. Bro, and then we all grown me and I, bro. Who the fuck got time to be sitting around a nigga for five, six hours, bro? Bro, we could be playing the game. I'd be at my house doing my thing, bro. I go to work, bro. Come home and play the game with you, bro. I play online. You ain't finna sit in my house all day. You're not finna watch my girl walk yeah, through the all day. No. And then that's when I get the question to you, bro. I think a nigga gay. Nigga, you gay. You ain't got no plays. You ain't got no job. You ain't got no home. You just got time. Man, listen, my boy. Your ass useless right now. Your ass is useless right now. But I'll be thinking about shit like that, bro, because. <laughs> Back to we were talking about like the colorism, racism in the black community, bro. Niggas see you have anything, bro, and then shit on you for doing that. The podcast shit, man. Them boys, man, that shit ain't really shit. That bro, nigga, like our shit, share, subscribe, comment, whatever, bro. Still hate it, man. Watch, they ain't gonna be doing it for too long, man. Them niggas lame, man. I see everybody doing a podcast. Niggas want to do podcasts now. I remember at a time when a bitch talking about everybody want to be rappers now. And there's a lot of rappers who still came after that time. A lot. It's For a fact. Kendrick Lamar came after that time when nigga was talking about everybody want to be a rapper now. You hear me, bro? So now it ain't about who did it, it's about who stayed consistent. It's a lot of niggas that came, it's a lot of niggas that went. And it's a few in between that stayed consistent. And you niggas call these niggas old school, they washed up. Man, niggas consistent, nigga. Niggas stay at this shit, bro. That's why I can't sit here and go back and forth with a nigga who want to tell me about what I should do with the podcast if you won't even give me a topic to talk about. You won't even tune in when I'm, nigga, who is you? Watch the shit for a couple seconds, okay. nigga. Bro, right listen. Past shit. Or a nigga be having all these ideas, bro. I'm like, okay, that's great, bro. What these ideas was before I even started this shit? That's why the saying is real. You don't. People only help motherfuckers that help themselves, bro. If you, bro, if you definitely. If you on the highway, my nigga, you driving. You see a motherfucker pulled over, sending their car texting. You might not help them. Pouring rain. You like, okay, they probably calling for They might got it. You got it under control. But you see a lady, I know, rain with a car jack on 75. You might risk. You turn it or backing up just to help this lady because you see she's willing to help herself. These niggas ain't trying to even fucking help themselves out here, bro. We're calling that, AAA in the car. That, that's why the same way, like, these artists be talking about, oh, I want a nigga sign me, sign me. Bro, you're not building your own brand. You have no merchandise. You don't do shows. You don't already have a catalog you're working on. These record labels today want a nigga who already niggas got something got, going. Niggas, they got a song. You just got a song, and it's popping. So now it's when they break you out of contract and you begging to get off your contract three months later, a year later, you mad, oh man, I ain't signed for this. Da -da. Yes, you did, bro. Yeah, you and listen, read through the paperwork. And now you mad because you had no leverage. When we get this shit on and popping, bro, and the bitch want to sponsor us and talk some shit about this podcast shit, the bitch got to come with something, bro. Because I'm putting money behind this. Me and Jit putting our time and our money behind this shit, bro. Ain't nobody else doing this shit with us. Motherfucker, bro, we got ice in this bitch, bro. He holding us down. He's so fucking backed up that. Nigga, this episode will be up next month, nigga. <laughs> Episodes are coming soon. But bro, so backed up because we started doing shit and developing instead of trying to rush the, the finished product. We're producing it from front to end. We're not just making a beat, finding a rap, and then putting it out. We're producing from front to end. We're finding the beat. We're getting the rap. We're doing all this shit through and through. We ain't just putting pieces together, bro. And there's a lot of people, bro, who be talking about, oh, you niggas need to do this. Uh, man, y'all should do this. Uh, man, y'all got to put y'all shit on this and that. All right, great. Help me. Let's do it. 
Now you can't block for me, black man. You know they're trying to stretch us. Block for me. And you niggas won't do that. Meanwhile, I'm willing to bring anybody on this podcast, let them come talk their shit. Get your shit off. Promote promote what you got. But talk, bring your perspective and bring your opinion and personality first, bro. Don't just come on this motherfucker talking about, oh, man, I'm going to do this. No, nigga, because who the fuck are you to just come on here and say, well, I got followers. Come on, bro. Just speak on what we speaking about. You prove it. You hear me, bro? Yeah, don't come on here and tell us what you got. You hear me, bro? Can you even hold it? Can you be in- interesting, bro? You hear me, bro? We're all figuring this shit out, bro. Prove I, it. I might be talking too much as I go on, bro, but we're still figuring this shit out, bro. And nigga be talking about, y'all should talk about this. Bro, I got a notes and notes of shit I ain't even got to, bro. I ain't got to nothing, bro. I'm we talking ain't even about, get to the topic today. Bro, you hear me, bro? <laughs> Speaking of what we got to get to today, though, man, we definitely got to, before we get out of here, bro, we got to talk about some of these wins and losses on these trades, though, bro. Who you thought, who you think ultimately won within the last. Forty-eight hours, I think it's been since the free agency shit. Like, who you think? Who you think won? Um, I mean, what came out on top? You, you, can't, you can't go days. wrong with, with, with saying that Tampa Bay. You know what I'm saying? Got yeah. it. Yeah. Like, that's the most. That's the most hype. But who do? You, that's the most hype one. Who do you think won? Hopkins. Well, well, um, yeah. Cardinals. Yeah, Cardinals. I think he won too because they're trying to try new that's shit. That's Cardinals. They're trying shit with Kyler Murray, mm-hmm. who they've already been drafting. They got the center that used to be the Seahawks center, mm-hmm. used to be um Drew Brees center, uh, Unger. He's a Super Bowl winning center. He's short. That's why they got him because that's how you know, Russell yeah. uh-huh. Wilson was and Drew Brees is. Kyler Murray is a fucking beast. If he didn't care about football, that's the difference between passion and motivation. That boy passionate about football, he could have been motivated, got that baseball money. Cause he was damn Jameis Winston too. I thought he already was on. Uh, Teddy pro Bridgewater, though. yeah, he was yeah. Ted, him, Teddy Bridgewater, Jameis Winston, Russell Wilson, all of them played baseball and all love niggas. You crackers could never. Mason Bumgarner could never. Mason Bumgarner could never. Not fuck with me. Yeah, but Megatron Mason Bumgarner too. is a rodeo racer too. Mason Bumgarner goes by a whole nother alias and he fucking rides bulls. So let me take that back. My bad, Mason Bumgarner. You a damn good picture. You, you, bro, that's great, but because he got to, uh, uh, some shit. I forgot where he go. Mason, some shit, bro. But that nigga, bro, I think that they came on top because with DeAndre Hopkins going to learn from Larry Fitzgerald, what he's going to learn is going to be amazing. Larry Fitzgerald's been over here 14 years. Well, he's going to learn from Larry Fitzgerald. Bro, he, he, even if he was like the A, the A or the B, Either way, Larry Fitzgerald ain't that fast. He don't run routes. He's still dangerous. The man had a stat today to show on the ESPN. The man got 37 tackles, 29 drops his whole career. You got more tackles than you got drop passes. DeAndre Hopkins, the season before last, did not have one drop. Not one drop. Not one drop. Man, Hopkins a fucking beast. And they said Deshaun Watson is the future of that franchise. Like, get the fuck out of here. I just don't Hopkins like in his prime. We've never seen a wide receiver like this traded in his prime. I just don't like how they, how they try Hopkins for that. What came out in that interview with Michael Irvin? Speak on that shit, bro. She just basically, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, that shit got my mouth watering as fuck. <laughs> Wet mouth, man. Wet mouth. Hey, I ate a Starburst from Winter Drooling one day. <laughs> hey, bro, I was, bro, I'm so fat. Bro, I'm opening the pack of Starburst and my mouth got water. I said, bitch, I'm fat. Bitch, I'm fat. Bitch, I'm fat. My chief was punching up back here. Bro, I'm so fat. But, um, bro, I'm the pack basically, Michael Irvin called, my, called um, Hopkins. Bitch, I'm fat. Mind you, they said on? Bill uh, Bill O'Brien, they said this guy was innovative. Uh-huh. They said he was, mind you, at that time, they said he was this and that, bro, when he drafted Brian Cushing and all that, and J.J. Watt and J.J. They, bro, to think, he's got more influence than J.J. Watt. Look at J.J. Clowney. They got him. Yeah. Bro, now I'm thinking about this and what he said. But go ahead and talk about yeah. it. So, what happened. Um, so basically, um, he basically wasn't getting along with, you know what I'm saying? He, well, it wasn't he wasn't getting along. It was, it was a conversation that he had. With, with the um, with, with the team or whatever, and he, he he just basically didn't like the, the the vibe they was giving off to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Basically, they let him know they were like, he, well, I forgot what kind of interview they said they was having with him, but basically they um. Uh, it was a player comp- coach just yeah. sit down type uh-huh. of interview. Type of basically, conversation. they compared the interview that they had with him to the interview that Aaron Hernandez had. Nah, say what that man said, bro. Tell him what that man like said. The, uh, Wait, well, verbatim what he told Michael Irvin. I, I don't know verbatim, but it was like the last time I had to have an interview with some anybody like this, it was with uh, Aaron Hernandez. Like, and that's like saying a lot. Yeah, like, especially with circling around his name right now, bro. Exactly. That's like a motherfucker that's saying, damn, last time we had an artist do some shit like this was R. Kelly. Yeah, uh-huh. That's just basically like. Don't even put me R. Kelly mention yeah. if we're going. No, uh-huh. no, nah, nah, we're talking that's platinum. Basically like comparing it don't even matter if it's a good thing. If uh-huh. you're talking about you just went platinum like R. Kelly, like, yeah. don't even mention nah. that. Don't even put me that R. Kelly. going to make the headline. Like, uh-huh. Just like Aaron Hernandez was yeah. last time uh, Bill O'Brien had such a character of a player was Aaron Hernandez. Uh-huh. Character. That's yeah. what's going to be in them crackers' mm-hmm. head. Oh, Deshaun, like oh, he's like this. Because they, they're trying to make it seem like he's a character. Mind you, the man's gave over $2 million back to children's, uh, to breast cancer research. 
He's gave so much money back to that shit. The children's hospital, bro. The man, though, and his time is worth more than anything. The man, bro, you, bro, these niggas ain't got to do this shit. They only get paid twice a year. Yeah. They ain't got to do a lot of this shit. Basically, they, they were basically saying Hopkins is the, is the biggest influence in the, um, in the locker room. And that's hard to believe, though, bro. But I believe Jay, Jadavion Clowney probably had a bigger influence than J.J. Watt did. I do believe that, though, because J.J. Watt is probably a great leader, but J.J. Watt's probably like a passive aggressive guy like LeBron. And LeBron's got what he got because accolades. But at the time, if LeBron didn't have what he had the accolades, he couldn't talk to these players where he talked to them. Or say, I fuck with this nigga, sit two seats down with him on the bench, and then that nigga get traded the next day. Like, LeBron's done some creep shit, but I ain't gonna call it creep if I'm trying to get to the top. Hey, you niggas ain't trying to get to the top to me. Nigga, nigga, man, fuck you niggas. But I don't think, I don't think sitting there and telling nobody, hey man, as soon as I come in, Man, last time we had a problem like this, man. Yeah. Like, he was Making Hernandez. it seem like he's the real problem. Like, and Michael Irvin said from that point, DeAndre Hopkins told him he the, the whole his, interview, his, uh, it was yeah. bad for them. Um, to whole, to something about the baby mama uh-huh. shit. Yeah. The baby mama's hanging like, around um, don't, don't, he, he don't like how his, how his baby mamas are hanging around. Baby mamas, that's what he said. That's what they call them, baby mamas. They don't like how his baby mamas hanging around the facility. And so, bro, was just like at that point, he was already in his head. He was already gone. Yep. And a lot of people don't understand, bro, this is a plantation. I love the NFL, I love the NBA, but these are just rich billionaires, mm-hmm. trillionaires, playing with their toys. Mm-hmm. These are just toys to them, bro. These are toys the niggas own. Michael Jordan got NASCAR cars and shit. They're the toys to him. The same, the same shit that the Kings and Queens did with Gladiators. They were mm-hmm. toys to them. Meanwhile, the Gladiators, they ran their whole little town. They was that nigga, mm-hmm. but they could die tomorrow because the fun yeah. of the sport. Mm-hmm. The same way we in the field. Mm-hmm. And now they say they, they get. As you like, Sammy came here. He's the town. Got the key to the city, all that. But Meanwhile, he was just as good in Clemson and a, a, a achieving a lot more yeah. in college. No disrespect to the Super Bowl. It's great. But yeah. what he did at Clemson was fucking mm-hmm. amazing. Boy, the boy, man, you niggas don't understand. But the man was fucking amazing. Well, y'all understand. Y'all watch too. But don't get on my dick. Now nah, nah, that you feel like we want to do something for you. Yeah. But that's go back to what I was just saying, but you don't want to help nobody unless they helping themselves now. There's so many motherfuckers out here want a bitch to give them a hand out, bro, but you want to ride to the stove, but they ain't got no gas money. Or, or you got gas money, or you want to go to the stove, but you don't even know exactly what you're going for. You finna go get some garbage and some bullshit, nigga. You ain't invite me to come smoke with you or nothing, bro. How I'm gonna help you help me? Bro, you nigga, bro, niggas is crabs, bro. That's why, bro, listen. That's why I stay away from motherfuckers. And you just, you can't sit there and try to, you can't sit there and try to ask somebody for help, bro. If you don't actually have a plan or you trying to do something yourself. These niggas got, bro, I had a conversation with my dog a few weeks back. He was telling me about how baby mama would get an income tax, this and that. I said, bro, any plan with somebody else's money is a failed plan. Mm-hmm. Like, that's a failed plan. Like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've been on the timeline the last couple of days, bro. Income tax, I came to win. I, had to, I got some empty promises out there. <laughs> Boy, income tax that came and went. I ain't talking about no females either. Damn, damn, you, yeah. can't, you can't never depend on somebody somebody else to help you out. Cause it's, it's an option to them. I just like, um, um I, I know, uh, uh, I ain't gonna say their name, but I know somebody, right? They, they roommates. Some shit went down. Well, you know what I'm saying? The rent Fuck it, I'm gonna say their name. Motherfucking market. Oh. <laughs> the, rent, the rent would do, right? So, um, so one of the nigga had the rent, the other nigga ain't had the rent. So his, well, his, his thing was, uh, my little bitch supposed to be giving me some money for the rent, blase, squase, and I'm still waiting on her to come through. So I had to let a bitch know, bitch, you can't depend on the bitch. You can't, you can't depend on your life. You can't put your livelihood on some shit like that. Oh, some shit like that, you can depend on, oh, this bitch supposed to buy me some shoes. Yeah. Oh, this bitch supposed to give me some gas money, some shit like that. But you can't put, you, you can't put no big shit. And then, you know what's crazy, bro? A nigga put you, bro, you ever been one of these situations too? I bro, a nigga will fuck around and put you in a situation like, you done made a move off his promise. Mm-hmm. You to, exactly. Bro, you told me you exactly. wanted him for 50, bro. Uh-huh. So I done did this and you ain't got it? Uh-huh. Nah, I ain't tripping because I when I already put my own money up for it and everything. Now I'm going to put my other little 450, so now I'm in my pocket and your pocket. And you talking about, oh, I ain't want to do it. Oh, you tell mm-hmm. the shit. Uh-huh. But you ain't had to, bro. I was going to do it. Man, nigga, I tell you, I'll never do it for you again. Yeah, and then you I'll never do it again. You could have you could have came and brought me the fidget yeah. spinner, nigga. I wouldn't have gave you a dollar to invest. Because, <laughs> you, nigga, you just showed your character, bro. And if you did it once, you going to do it again, bro. You have no real. Niggas be having straight crab intentions, bro. Bro, and we supposed to be homeboys, bro. I've been going scrolling down my timeline feeling like Renner Center for real, bro. I know where y'all stay at. I know when you be home, bro. I be want to come knock on my door and just come get my shit. And y'all, they, and I know how really center feel when you when you knock on the door and they don't move the shit to a storage or some shit. Man, y'all ain't got my shit. I done came way over here. Y'all ain't even got my shit. Man, get the fuck out of here. And that's how I feel, bro. Cause I got motherfuckers that told me all kind of, hey, bro, I'm gonna make sure, man, I'm gonna pay you one more. Baby, mama get an income tax. I'm gonna look out, bro. Bro, you be looking out for me, bro. I appreciate that, bro. I'm gonna do this, bro. I got to bro. Listen, it's a bitch out there, boy. Listen, I might be going in, cause I see this bitch. 
Boy, I'm gonna but Uncle Richard come by my. I'm gonna bust this bitch motherfucking head, boy. Bro, listen, I was dating this chick bro a few months back, last year sometime, way last year. Me and the shit, we just dealing with each other for a minute. She had this idea about doing micro braising with the lashes, all this shit. She was like, I need X amount of dollars. I'm like, all right. She like, um, it's gonna cost about X amount of dollars to get all this going. Uh, I might want to see you want to invest with me. I said, bet I give you twenty five hundred. I said, matter of fact, I give you fifteen hundred for the initial investment, so you start getting here and shit going, so you can start building money up while, before we get the shit going. Girl, I took the classes, come for me for like gas money while she got to slide the date to do the class, to go to Atlanta for the four hour class, all that shit like this and that. I'm investing in the motherfucker for real, for real. I'm talking about, I'm already about the initial 1500 and class, but I'm about two racks already. So I don't get to ask motherfucker, hey man, we're going. When we gonna get this shit going? Well, I got this going, my business partner does. I said, all right, so we all gonna get this shit going. I just know with my 2500 going to double up. I wanna know my investment gonna make some money. Cause I ain't made any profit yet. I ain't made no nothing yet. Long story less long, boy, me and the girl fall a lot. We start fucking with each other. We start going through a bunch of shit. Motherfucker answer my text. Motherfucker, you know, I say, damn, I understand. We start fucking with each other, but we got business. So that let me know how you go about business. So I just know when I see a motherfucker, I don't know how I'm going to react. I might bop a bitch because we talking about then they're too rad. And I'm glad I didn't get the other stack because I gave a bitch 1500 cash up front. I'm glad I didn't get the other. And then money in between the bush, I'm glad I didn't get the other little stack because bitch, I would have been hot by my... But the next nigga can't even buy your cheeseburger. Yeah. But and you dog but them, me. Them, them be the niggas that are holding shit on though. The nigga who actually can't help them out. Cause bitch you shitted on me. <laughs> <laughs> bitch you shitted on the fat one. <laughs> bitch I ain't heard from a motherfucker. I see it be a brother all the time, but I ain't heard from a motherfucker. You wanna hit him? Only reason why I don't hit him. Only reason why I don't hit that nigga cause he's a bonus. To, he's a bonus, bro. I fuck with bro. He cool people, but. <laughs> But bitch, you creep, you snake. And bro, I be seeing a bitch be saying some shit, bitch be on their social media, bitch, I'm this, I'm that, that, that. How you such a solid bitch in? My last nigga was a broke nigga. I'm like, damn, I don't know if I count as your last nigga. Yet, but I got five dollars, ho. And I got somewhere to stay. Being broke means five dollars, but nothing to stay. That's broke. But I be seeing this, I be, and I ain't that type of nigga to put a bitch on blast. I'm the type of nigga when I see you post it, I'm a screenshot of sending to you, be like, hey, so what's up? Do you have even a hundred dollars on what you owe me? And you haven't made no effort that just shows me, bitch, you're not trying to pay me. You don't west me. And you think it's cool with west. You don't hit the St. Louis shuffle, bitch, you went west on me. Bitch, all right, bro, I feel like when I, and you never know, bro, because when somebody owe you money, you feel your emotion and kind of some shit, you never know what you'll do to an individual. But if you got my money, I probably won't trip. But if you don't, it might, words get exchanged, and then it's, and bro, mind you, motherfucker ain't made the attempt. Income tax man came and went. I know you don't found your shit. Now we got the corona, and now it's going to be a whole nother excuse to why yeah, you ain't paid me again. I, I got um, shit to pay. Or my kids, this, my kid. Mind you, bro, I even reached out to a bitch and hit a motherfucker, hey, uh, I ain't trying to be that nigga, but I know income tax coming, man. You owe me. And now, you know, bro, I told my friend, she was like, no, Mike, me and my homegirl talking, she was like, no, Mike, that's your money. Like, she need to get that to you. Like, she ain't even said nothing about giving you the none money back, no investment, no nothing. Like, nah, she ain't said nothing. She like, nah, I don't know, bro. I, I ain't whack that bitch for you. I'm like, I wouldn't go that far. Because it's money, bro. It's monetary. It means nothing. I could die tomorrow. I just hope that my relationships last longer than anything financial. That's but, why I do not loan money out. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I'm broke. I'm done. Even when it comes to a bitch, bro, I man, mindset, this is a bitch I'm fucking with. Mm-hmm. Email up, bitch. I'm eating a bitch up, bro. We living life together, bro. Hanging out, taking don't trips, get bro. More than forty dollars, boy. Boy, listen, boy. Yeah. That is the limit. Get some gas. You gotta get to work. I'm gonna make sure you get to work every week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you get to work. I'm gonna make sure you eat. Other than that, if we ain't, if we ain't exclusive, I've been fucking with you for a while, and I feel like I'm dead. It's forty dollars. Limit. Forty and that's your limit, bitch. You better hope I got that. And if you go, and if you go, and if you go past, yeah, I got thirty. If you go past thirty four, like, but, but but bro, you said, bro, when motherfucker owe you money, bro, it be the weirdest shit in the world, bro, because the bitch don't even want to answer the phone for you. We cool, and it's like, well, I wish I wouldn't lend you the money. And when I tell people no, no more, they be like, damn, what the fuck? Till like a month from, bro. When I tell, I'm, I tell people all the time, I'm not smart. People be like, man, fat boy, you smart. No, I'm very wise. I've been fucked over a lot. People are like, bro, I wish I was smart like that. No, this wisdom comes from being mm-hmm. fucked over, lied Experience. to, cheated on, jumped by homeboy, snake shit. That's where all this wisdom comes from. Fuck shit and being around you fuck niggas, bro. I took my homeboy said some shit years ago. He said, bro, you don't see past 25, bro, you be OG. I said, yeah, but I realize if you see past 25 and Fort Myers, you can't be dumb. Mm-hmm. You got to be wise. People are like, well, the opposite of dumb is smart. No, the opposite of dumb is wisdom. The opposite of ignorant is smart. Mm-hmm. I'm very wise. I try to make the right decisions. Even if I know this road is going to have bumps and bruises on it, I know that taking this road right here is the same road everybody else taking, so it's going to be a traffic jam somewhere along this bitch. Let me take my bumps and bruises by my motherfucking self. People don't see... Yeah, people don't look at that shit and they don't think about that. People just think, uh, what's the greatest, the, the road less travel, bro? Uh, the road less travel. 
You know, that's the, that's the poem of the road less traveled. But the, they got the sticks and brooms and everything in the way, and then they got this one clear. It's clear. The who? There's so many people going down here. There's only one person going this way. I'd rather go down the road oh, less traveled because oh, oh, it's short already. It's just tough. It's tough. It's just short. This road right here, everybody going down is very long. It is jam packed with 100 people on the road already. I'd rather go. And I'd rather and I'd rather go directly down this motherfucker go through the bumps and bruises by my damn self, bro. That's why, bro, if I tell somebody some shit like But it's a direct connect, bro. I know how, what's gonna happen, here, what's gonna play out. Bro, you can't tell if there's no shit with them not taking offense to it. Especially them being your friends. They're gonna take offense. Yeah. Nah, bro, what you mean? But I'm, I'm gonna tell you this, if, if one thing about it, my dogs, them boys, them boys straight. Like you feel what I'm saying? Them boys got their shit together. So I I know for a fact if them boys Get to the level where they gotta ask me for something. They I'm fucked up because they, they fucked up for real. Up, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I, and, I, and 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 I, and I loaned it to them before I would loan it to some family members yeah. because yeah. I know for a fact I'm gonna chase you down. I'm gonna have to go down. Inbox you on Facebook. Inbox you on Instagram. See you as a Snapchat. Mind you, they leaving and they leaving everything and they leaving everything on scene. They leaving everything on scene. Oh, I do shit like that too, bro. I put up church service with your mama. Woman yeah. 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 shirt buttoned up and everything. Damn, we're going for that. What your shit, bro? You got church this week? Damn, bro, that's crazy. You need to go to church with your mama. You be there too. To avoid that, I just tell her, no, but then they think you're wrong, bro. Like you say, you just trying to avoid all. The I'm gonna tell you, I, I, they used to get me a lot before I had kids. Yeah, I used to feel like. You know what I'm saying? I got an extra. I ain't got no kids. They, they felt like they always felt like I had money because I didn't have kids. Yeah, that's how a bitch be looking at me. Just as broke as y'all, bitch. Me, bro. That's what a bitch look at me like because I ain't got kids that I should have this and that. Uh -huh. Oh, you got your jewelry because you ain't got kids. Bro, I always snapped on my jewelry like that because my house got broken too when I was at work and I ain't like how it's, that's an old that's for a whole other podcast. But I ain't like how this shit played out. And I said, nigga, I get it back up like I got it before. But a nigga see that be like, oh, cause you got kids, you can do that. I can't know, nigga. Nigga, I got so much other shit going on that I that I help people out, bro. I'm investing in tense shit. I'm investing in this podcast shit, bro. I'm really investing in shit, bro. Bro, I'm investing in all kind of other shit, bro. And it ain't no millions of dollars, a thousand. No, bro. It's a quick 400, 500, but it's investment, bro. Please, you people who think you need a thousand, ten thousand to invest, no. $100, $200, bro. Invest in just anything. Invest in yourself, bro. You want to do vlogs, invest in a camera yeah. or something, bro. And, um, just invest in yourself. Right now, stocks and bonds are really cheap are, bro, right now. Um, right, now right now, bro, right now, right now, bro, it, it's a crisis. In the book I read, uh, But Hell the White, White Horse, it says always watch when there's a crisis, there's cash being made. Yeah. When war is Super. Made, somebody's shooting, somebody got to make bullets. Yeah. Somebody got to buy bullets. Mm -hmm. There's always capitalized when there's a crisis, bro. And people are talking about, no, this is the, the world is not ending now. It's not going to end for another trillion years. If we just got here, we only been here. How long people been on Earth? Maybe, maybe 700,000 years, bro. We haven't been on Earth a billion years yet, bro. And that's going back to the caveman, Amazonian women. We ain't been here long enough to destroy the Earth yet. The Earth will consume us as people before we consume it. Basically, you see, like, water will take the whole land mm -hmm. if it keeps going at a rate. Hawaii is a whole volcano, right? Get the fuck out of here. And it shows you that it goes, what, 10,000 feet more deep. Uh -huh. it's, it's crazy, bro. There's so much out here, bro. Stop thinking the world's finna end because it's coronavirus shit, bro. Protect yourself. Just be clean. Y'all just not started washing your hands? One thing just about not. it, I don't, I don't survive like Red. eight world finna end years. Bro, SARS, uh, uh, Ebola, <laughs> fucking, uh, the fucking, the Zika. Y2K. What's, the Y2K what's that shit? The, no, what's the shit the, the, no, what's the, shit the mosquitoes had, had us scared? The Zika. Oh, wow. Zika virus. The Niles and the Zika virus. Bro, <laughs> come, come on, bro. They just showing you, bro. That's all it is, man. So, bro. The bro, now we can she get up out of here, man. But my last note, like I said, man, if y'all ain't doing nothing else with y'all time, bro, invest in yourself and don't take nothing but a hundred dollars, bro. Maybe fifty. Like Blood just said, you can get it to some stocks right now, pretty low. Y'all got twenty five dollars to throw away on the bottle. Put twenty five dollars in that stock and just because you're gonna throw it away, let it sit. Let it accumulate over time. Compound interest, bro. This is financial literacy. I wish I could have an advisor in here or whatever. Fuck a financial advisor. Them bitches don't do nothing but tell you when your bills do, too. I learned about you motherfuckers. But, bro, we need to have somebody in here to start talking about financial literacy, bro, and shit like that, bro, because ISIS got shit going on. I got shit going on, bro. Well, we're dealing with investors. We're dealing with people who's willing to put money behind a product. That's what you need. Have a product. Push this product. Have something. Because at a time like this, you could be at home still pushing your product over the internet. Craig Smith just did the damn roast button. That was fucking very, very smart. The button, that's very smart, bro. So he's at home with the corona shit. You could be ordering this shit, bro. While I'm at home, I'm still making some type of money. I've invested in myself because Walmart closing, a Perkin, all these restaurants and shit closing, bro. These nursing homes, your girl going out every day around this shit. Make sure the girl ain't got to come home stressed every day, man. Bro, we got to wrap up. Give me one second, bro. We got to wrap up. I know we got to wrap up. Bro, but you... You, you, mo you, what you got to mm -hmm. add on? No, 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 you Gucci.
I wanted to add on. Um, also, potential. those people that do not stop have walking the by your little cousin on that laptop um, too. Will, see what he's doing. You have the money. Hey, see, look at see what he's doing, little man. Smarty see if he's in the corner. Pay attention to them. YouTube vlogging, bro. Facts. Facts. Soldier boy is the goat. The goat. The goat. Soldier boy just came out with hands. Last year he came out with that, bro. Before he went to prison, he came out with that shit. Sold out like every fucking thing else he does. He did six months. He did that deal in August. It's already. Facts. Oh, she said he had to do that before he got out. Look, listen here, the boy on the song with Skipper the Flipper. I'm, 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 I'm as I. All right, and I fuck, and I fuck, and I fuck with Skipper. And I fuck with Skipper the Flipper even to when the oh, all. Boy? Yeah, yeah. Soldier Skipper the Flipper. That nigga, people don't stand, bro. Like Soldier Boy had a lot of niggas signed for they blue and did what they did not, bro. But you niggas don't understand, bro. When you niggas was calling him clown, he was marketing with the dance. See. That right now, man, Soldier Boy said he ain't never gonna stop cranking that. Do you know how much money I would pay? I would love to see Soldier Boy crank that right now. Actually, I went, I'm paying to see Soldier Boy. I grew up with that nostalgic shit, and it'll never get old, bro. I remember they was playing that in the club with Soulja grown Boy got people. Enough songs, he can do an hour show. Thank yeah, you, bro. Sure. Shit like that. Meanwhile, he's the guy that had the ideas but didn't have the money. So you people like bro just said the people with the money, stop looking over these little niggas' idea. It might sound crazy to you, bro. He's painting his fingernails and wearing earrings with the extra little loop to him. Now you see Saquon Barkley wearing the extra loop. Niggas getting the one pinky nail painted with the arm because it's a girl on IG that's doing what she calls it a nail art. But come on, bro. And call it what you want, bro. Outcast been doing it. Sleepy Brown nigga was doing it. And Sleepy Brown was one of the best niggas to ever harm him. Nigga, Sleepy Brown was that nigga. Bro, and it's and people don't understand, bro. Like, bro, look, and they 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 fuck with a one about the shit, bro. A one, bro. See low grounds, uh, see low green, he got still you doing it to this day. Put them in y'all mentions the whole time. So to this day. These niggas got great ideas. These little niggas have great ideas, bro. They just need money. They be great curators, bro. Bro, we got, bro. Listen, we got a spot. We finna be popping off. I'm saying we, cause I'm in with this shit with these boys, and the spot popping off, man, is gonna be a nice little area, bro. But. The shit they was doing here at the Mystic, the Mystic uh, Lounge, bro, the CBD Lounge, bro. You motherfuckers was sending them comments hating and then not coming and supporting, bro, and talking about y'all look crazy. It look dark in there. I can't see nobody. Bro, they don't understand about vibes and, and sets. You, it just needs to be bright everywhere. We're not on the movie set. It needs to be a certain, it needs to be low lights and shit. They don't understand that, bro. There's been some dope ass events in this motherfucker. But we got a bigger space. going to be some more dope shit. And then that's when. Yeah. Meanwhile, bro, when that's, people do that, bro. Official, but he got another spot. And this, like, we still partying this motherfucker doing our thing, but we're doing well, some we've been shit killing the lounge. That's gonna be so well. Then we're gonna be having the motherfucking yeah. mystic shit somewhere on up. Bro, the, these motherfuckers really got shit on. So if you motherfucker got a couple dollars, anything, bro, get it icy. Put a couple dollars in, bro. It's gonna be invested dope. And it's to basically, bro, we're trying to create something at Southwest Florida, create an actual culture around here. You mother, because there's nothing to do, there's no club. Yes, after you said that, there's something to do. Also, for Press anybody that's editing. watching this show, um, yeah. I'm going to be starting some shows. I mean, not shows, but uh, I'm I'll going be to be here starting myself, some classes. So while y'all are doing that uh, free time, for brain, ask, uh, some and classes on editing, you, you know, time, bro, quick love, fix bucks. Um, I don't know because I'm a cancer. I'm like this. Boom. Never been big into that shit. Trying to so start my damn empower my brothers and sisters out there. Whoa, okay. that shit's smart. But. When I go into some shit, I go, I go, I'm into it, bro. I like it a lot. Bro, you see how you eat with your car, bro? You like, you like it a lot until I'm done. And when I'm done, I'm like, all right. The world can have it now. Now I'm done. Yeah. Now I'm finished. Uh -huh. Don't take it on to something done. else. Yeah, now it's on. And, mm -hmm. and when I get onto that something else, I'm going full yeah. fledged, 100 percent into it, bro. So many people, bro, want to. That's why I fuck around and have 10 calls a year because I, I fix them bitches up to and, one But meanwhile, the nigga saying you yeah, blowing your yeah, money, you doing yeah, something, yeah. dude. Not realizing mentally, bro, this is what you do to strain yourself, man. I'm straight on this. And I like this. At, at first, you know, at, at first, my girl ain't ain't, ain't understand the shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like all my life, bro, I've been into calls. All my life, I'm talking about. A little kid yeah, build. playing with matchboxes and shit Modern, like, like that. Yeah, car where you gotta build every piece. Oh, the actual little small motor like and all that shit too. Shit, you know what I'm and that shit like to this day, bro. Modern, to this day. <laughs> were you doing shit with like uh, shit, computers and shit when you was a jit, bro? bro? Like watching. Shit was yeah. <laughs> 
You know, the crazy part, and I always been the shit because I used to watch like bloopers from Friday. I was in the back of movies. I was watching how they was building it, and, and now I got that skill. Yeah. People say I ain't never seen. I seen a meme going around with a video. I ain't never seen this part of Friday. I'm like, y'all ain't had a DVD? Yeah. You gotta watch. Yeah, we had four options. Yeah, four options. I never forget, nigga. My little horny ass, man. We gotta wrap up, bro. My little horny ass. It was this shit called Boat Trip, movie with Cuban Gooding Jr. There was extended version, bro, with a hose that had no titties or nothing on. Even Longoria had titties. I knew she was Tony Parker's wife. I knew the fuck she was. That's my house My little nerd here trying to jack off to her. But, but even then, bro, I remember going to the deleted scenes. I'm like, oh, shit, deleted scenes of American Pie. I've always been into like the extra shit, bro. And it's funny, so when I'm doing this shit, bro, it, when I was. Everybody wants deleted scenes. But I don't think everybody don't even know about him, bro, because you you don't see the deleted scenes going around nothing like I ain't never see that in the movie. You never watch it all the way. Yeah. Bro, and it, bro, and it's crazy, bro, cause some people, bro, they don't they don't take that time out to be like, man, damn, I'm really Now I'll be on YouTube now. I'll be on the deleted scenes in there. I make sure I stay current. Niggas don't realize what's actually cool, bro. Or I'm bro. You don't, you, like you say, you don't fuck with Eminem. I done argued with your brother all day about Eminem, bro. And gave my Eminem CD, like, man, he can crack this great, bud. But uh, I'm listening to the LeJohn CD. All right, man, let me get this, bro. Bro, I like what I like. And I ain't gonna change it. My favorite rapper, yeah. I love Star Lito now. I think they're the go. I see niggas sharing his post and shit. Like, yeah. yeah, nigga, Lito been the go. Baby fact. yelling to my, I'm probably sliding with Star Lito. Put him on. All right, nigga. nigga okay, night, but I've been fact. on this nigga. Uh -huh. I like what I like, bro. I don't care if it's corny or not. Yeah. Yeah. It could be the corniest shit ever, bro. And, 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 and that's what I was getting at when I, when, when, when I, I was getting, I was get, actually getting into it. My ass will still be up there Saturday morning eating cartoons, big bowl with <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm finna buy something for my car. But she had to understand this is what I like. Yeah, and if you take that away from mm -hmm. me, you're taking a piece away Exactly. From me. I see if a girl gives you everything you want in a woman but takes this away from you, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, cause you got you got to do like it. What I, like you just said, I like what I and, like. And in a relationship, man, bro, we got to wrap up, but we be getting shit. But we are finished on this note, man. In a relationship, you dealing with somebody. This is what like, keep me alive. Girl, stop calling her a hoe because every bird of feather do not flock together, bro. I got homeboys who sell dope. I don't sell dope. I got homeboys who be busting shit. I ain't busting bitch. I done bust at a bitch and prayed that night. Like I hope you get it, man. I done cried, bro. My jaw locked up like I was on dope my first time shooting a gun. My jaw locked up for two days, boy. I was so scared, nigga. I, I peed my pants when I shot because I was scared, nigga. I was raised. My mama told me, nigga, nigga, he wasn't shooting at me. He was shooting too. And I just, I was trying to be tough. Trying to be down. Trying to be tough, bro, instead of defending myself. I would have threw hands with this nigga and took my ad with him if I took an ad with him. But I don't want to take nobody away from their children or their mother. Shit like that. But try, stop trying to be other, bro. But if, if birds and feather don't always flock together because I when I was always with my homeboys, I'm always against the grand. My homeboys doing other shit. I'm doing a part and shit. Doing other, bro. That's why I brought you in. Come home with like they went down. I'm like, man, I really sat back and thought, bro, like, what the fuck? And you made a status about Nip, bro. I've been letting you let you know how long I've been thinking about this. Since Nipsey death, bro, I've been thinking about it. You made a status. I'm like, damn, I like what he's saying, but we just got a different perspective. But I like what you're saying. You come from a nigga who don't fuck with me. I come from a nigga who really fuck with the shit. And stand on what you stand on, stand what I stand on. That's what make these opinions different. That's what make this shit different. We arguing on here, bro. We debating, bro. This is what makes it different, bro. And this is what makes us both men, bro. You stand on what you believe in, bro. But you got motherfuckers. Who say birds and feather flock together? So my girl, a hoe, she can't go with a homegirl. Mm -hmm. Now she in the house all day, aggravating the fuck yeah. out you, cause she can't go with bald head Keisha. I mean, yeah. just do. She just, just needs that ball. release. She gotta go through some bald head. Man, shit. your girl want to divorce you now. <laughs> man, I said she loves you for you. Now she want to divorce you because <laughs> man, you need to go record something. She just needs that release. You gotta go through some bald head. Man, your girl want to divorce you now. Man, I said she loves you for you. Now she want to divorce you because. Yeah. Man, you need to go sometimes you have the. Sometimes you have those uh those so toxic people next to you that won't be toxic to you. She might but like the stories you, that you live vicariously yeah. through them. I'm going to tell you now, like I do that, stand know. on this. Man. Hoes yeah. are fun. Yeah. Hoes are fun. You need a little ratchet. You need a little right. Yeah, yeah, shot, yeah. Because yeah. you, you do need a little. Come on. Bro, but definitely, man, don't try to give no spouse Fact. stop. Like I used to just say, he, he's going to, he's gonna um like Future say, I always Fact. choose this dirty over you. I'm going to choose this dirty sprite over you because this ain't, that is my lifestyle. This is your lifestyle. You want me to stop. When you met me, I was this like Now I'm stopped doing what y'all like. I don't work on my cars. I don't record podcast, edit videos. I had a vision. And you came along and you were, mm -hmm. you got merged in my vision. But now that you're telling me to block my vision, mm -hmm. I... I'm just focused on you and this one what I was focused on. Like, like the sense, like, like they say, you either get with it, you get lost. And ain't nothing wrong with you ladies. There's nothing wrong with making a nigga wait for you. If you going to school doing your thing and you just left a relationship, you don't want a nigga around your kids so soon, that nigga rushing, right. 
Leave them alone. If, if they, if Gucci they man. ain't trying to actually build with you and do nothing and try to have nothing and be understanding that you ain't got time to be sitting up underneath him while he playing 2K all day with his homeboys, leave that nigga alone. These niggas don't see your vision and don't let a nigga compromise your vision just because he got good dick, just because he got all the time in the world. It's cool when you get with the bitch and they got all the time in the world. Oh, it's so Until cool. you get aggravated. Man, find something. Because a woman will drag you away from your productions, bro, and doing everything you're doing with your network and be like, no, I need you home. I need mm-hmm. you this. All right, and you're willing to compromise. Okay. Relationships is not about bowing down to your girl. It's a broadly rap up, get up out of here, bro. I'll be right. But listen, it's not about bowing down to your girl. Compromise. Your girl said, I don't want you hanging with the boys every night. She didn't say hang with them. She said every night. You're with these boys every night. This woman cooking you. By the time you get home, your food cold. For one nigga, you're gay. Hot food right. made this dick hard. You yeah. naked, you gay. Fresh food, bro. How much, bro? You be horny on nah. your stomach, don't you? Horny in the most. Stomach be full. Bro, your stomach be full, but I'm talking about the home. Nah, home cal- cal- nigga, cal- home, you, home bro. cooked meal, bro. <laughs> Hey bro, calories Listen, ain't, no, ain't, nah. no, ain't no itis. Ain't no itis. Let, boy, boy, Maybe you, you not me. I be sleep. Bell peppers over there, state itis itis kick in, baby. Right now, baby. You deserve it. <laughs> Facts. You know, a woman who got a itis meal, kick in They deserve hard. it. Don't let these niggas run you away. Don't let these hoes run you away, bro, because you really got a future in the NFL, bro. You really got a future in boxing. You got a future in, in fucking program designing, bro. She's telling you you up late and all night doing all this uh, building and coding. Meanwhile, like that mother, uh, Acrimony or whatever, criminal, or acrimony, whatever that shit is. The man shit finally popped and when she gave up on the nigga. Now you gonna focus on your shit, bro? Don't let that girl distract you, my nigga. You wanna be a little rapper, bro? She don't support your shit. She ain't sharing your shit, bro. Fuck that hoe. She ain't fuck her, bro. fuck her, bro. Meanwhile, bro, same way. If that man ain't trying to make sure you at work out, like bro, just say it. I can fuck off and we ain't gonna go nowhere, bro. But my bitch gonna be to work every week. I can't give her no more than forty, but bitch, if that forty cut to your gas, fuck it, bitch. We gotta make sure that you to work because you're building something with me. Don't let these niggas distract you from your shit, little mama. Don't let these fuck ass hoes distract you from what you're doing, bro. These hoes gonna tell you, nah, you gotta get with it, get over. And if what she telling you to get with it ain't worth it, nigga, get the fuck on then, bro. You ain't, man, listen, my nigga, stay property, nigga. Get down and lay down, bitch. I might just lay down, boy, cause I ain't getting down with this shit. And it's a lot of females that drag you through their shit. And they'll drag you through that shit, telling you, oh, no, man, I, I got this and that going. Meanwhile, they don't have that shit clear. That's why, as the man, you be the head of the house. You let the woman be the neck. The head doesn't move without the neck. But you always tell us. So when it comes to the relationship, you're not bound down to your girl by saying, all right, babe, I'm going to fuck off at the garage tonight or tomorrow. But let me have my weekend. You're compromising, bro. You're meeting in the middle, bro. And with that said, man, let me get the fuck up out of here, man. I'm going to keep going, man. Uh, I appreciate Uncle Richard stopping through, man. Richard, let them know they can find you. All right, you can find me at Ricky the Overlord. Nobody give a fuck. Hey, Jit, we right, in this motherfucker. Hey, <laughs> Jit, let them know where they can find you at, man. Bitch. We in this motherfucker. LL Cool Jit. They don't want to know that shit either. That's why I'm sure he tried to get the fuck up out of the fucking catch fuck. fucking ass. <laughs> you already know, man. EX3 Network, man. Shout out to my boy Ice on the boys. Tis I, the fattest one of all the lands. Come to Rage Academy Snacks for the greatest snacks. You already know what I'm on. Uh, tune in next week. We will have these episodes loaded up quicker. Bro, you niggas get out my inbox, y'all. I, you know what? Keep you on. I appreciate it. I appreciate Pause. it. No, I appreciate it. Pause, nigga. I appreciate you <laughs> niggas. Yo, I, I appreciate y'all, though, bro, because y'all do be telling niggas, hey, when the episode dropping? I done watched all of them. I need another one. Like, that lets me know. And I appreciate it drives y'all. up the when demand. To do a supply and demand, create demand shit. We just, we backed up on cover art. We getting shit going. But this video will be out soon, man. Uh, maybe we are. But man, I appreciate everybody, man. This has been another episode. Maybe we man. are. Besides Chronicles, man, like, subscribe, share. Maybe man. we are. Leave things in the comments. Drop the back for my boy. Drop the pancakes and donuts for the fat one, man. Uh, let us know what y'all want to talk about, man. Let us know who came out better on this trade deadline shit, too, when it come up in the first day of free agency, man. Uh, y'all still corona free. Are you still washing your hands after the corona? Shout out, man. Everybody that came through this bitch, and we out this whole.